Good morning, my dear children. This is your Shanghita ma'am, and today we will read a short story, a history judgment from your literature book, the English Channel. It is an edited version of a history judgment from Chatterbox, nineteen hundred and six. So let's start the text. A history judgment. History means hurried or swift or quick. And judgment means to judge or to make a decision about someone or something. So, students, here we will come across four characters: Walter Howard, Jack Trehene, and his father and his stepmother. Walter had just arrived to spend his summer holidays with the Trehene family. So the two boys were cycling as they were returning from the station, where Jack came to welcome his friend. So both of them were good friends. Walter asked Jack how was his new mother. So from their conversation, we get to know that he was talking about Jack's new stepmother, who was recently married to his father. So, what is a new mother like? Asked Walter Howard. He was cycling from the station with his friend Jack Trehene, having just arrived to spend a few days of the summer holidays. So, we have already learned that Jack Trehene has gone to the station to welcome his dear friend Walter Howard, who has just arrived to spend a few days of his summer holidays with the Trehene family. No good was the short but expressive answer. Expressive answer means the answer was very short, but it expressed very clearly Jack's dislike for his new stepmother. I remember you thought her rather a good sort before your father married her. Walter remarked. Walter mentioned that I remember you thought her rather a good sort. Jack considered her a nice lady before she was married to his father. See, you never know what people really like until you live in the same house with them," said Jack gloomily. Gloomily means sadly. So Jack said very sadly that you never get to understand how a person truly is until you share the same roof with them. Until you start living with them in the same roof, under the same roof, you never get to know them before that. Hard lines when you had such decent holidays with your father alone. How is it she is not nice to you now when she used to be so jolly? Jolly means amicable or cheerful. Previously she used to be so amicable, so jolly towards you. Now she is not good. How this has happened? Oh, she isn't exactly nasty. Jack explained. Only I do so hate her mean little saving ways. So nasty here means unkind. So Jack answered that she is not exactly unkind towards me, but I just hated her little saving ways. The way she used to save things. That is something I hated most in her. Walter's face fell. Face fell means Walter become. Disappointed, it would be a nuisance if he had to waste some of his precious, precious holidays in a place where there was not even enough grub. Grub here means food. So he thinks, Walter thinks, it will be a nuisance. It will be very annoying thing if he had to spend all his summer holidays in a place where there won't be enough food for him to enjoy. But Walter was welcomed warmly by Jack's parents. It was soon lunch time. The family and the guest sat down to a hearty meal. Hearty meal means good food that provides nourishment. The food proved to be excellent. So Walter felt that it must be in some other way that the stinginess would be evident. Stinginess here means the unkind. Behavior and evident means noticeable. So the food was excellent, and the two boys enjoyed the excellent food. The two boys they enjoyed the hearty meal together, and Jack thought that the stinginess, the unkind behavior of the stepmother, would be evident in some other way. It would be noticeable in some other way. 
because the food was excellent and he enjoyed they all enjoyed the food thoroughly so the next morning at breakfast mrs trehan said it is such a lovely day and i'm sure walter would love to go down to the cove cove here means a small sheltered bay beside the sea what do you say to an expedition to castle cove expedition means journey so mrs trehan said to walter let's go to an expedition to a journey to the castle cove i'm sure that you will enjoy the journey okay and we will go together and we will enjoy the beauty over there so students from page number 14 we have learned many new words so let's read that hasty means hurried or swift or quick judgment means to judge or to make a decision about something or someone gloomily means sadly nasty means unkind over here jolly means amicable or cheerful face fell means unhappy or disappointed grub here means fru- food stinginess means unkind behavior and evident means noticeable expedition here means journey so these are some of the new words that we have learned from this page page number 14 so students let's come to the next page that is page number 15 wonderful idea said jack's father i will get the beach umbrella ready so jack's father was very excited for their forthcoming journey to the castle cove he said that i am making i am getting the beach, beach umbrella ready because it will be a sunny day so that is why you need umbrella over there over the sea beach so i am getting it ready the boy is too were delighted delighted here means excited with the idea and ran off to get ready they immediately ran to get ready because they are very excited they were very happy and delighted while mrs trehane said to work busily packing the picnic basket so mrs trehane said to work busily packing the picnic basket mrs trehane started making the picnic basket she filled the picnic basket the lunch basket with many goodies many delicacies that the boys will surely love our lunch jack said knowing who packed it can prom- prom- promise we shall not do so badly so so when jack asked to his father father what is there in that basket his father said that that your mother has filled up the basket with many delicacies which you boys will definitely love ah oh, but we have learned a trick worth two of that have we not my dear and mrs mr trehan is smiled at his wife when jack asked that what is there in that basket so his father didn't answer he kept it as a surprise he straight he said that we have learned a trick trick here means strategy okay and i will not disclose that to you right now it is so much more fun to have our lunch close to the sea she said rather than in a stuffy restaurant so so mrs trehane said that we will enjoy our lunch close to the sea rather than having the lunch in a stuffy restaurant stuffy here means crowded so rather than having the lunch in a stuffy crowded restaurant we will enjoy our lunch just beside the sea beach in the sea beach just beside the sea that is one of the saving ways i told you about she thinks it will save the expense of lunch at the hotel muttered jack muttered means saying something in a very low voice or whispered as he got into the back seat with walter and who is going to carry that horrid great basket i should like to know not me for sure so jack said that she has she has made the lunch basket ready why because she wanted to save the money for the restaurant she doesn't want to take us to the restaurant because she likes to save money so that is why she is not taking us to the restaurant i told you about okay she likes to save things that is something that i hated her the most so that is why she is not taking us to a restaurant okay she wants to save money 
this was said by jack in walter's ear okay and who is going to carry that horrid great basket horrid means here horribly heavy it was great it was big very big because it was stuffed with many delicacies many good foods so he said that who will going to carry this horrid big big basket i will not going to carry surely i am very sure of that the white crested waves were rolling in over the blue bay as the trehenes and walter got out of the car to follow a narrow cliff path towards the cove where they would enjoy their picnic halfway to the spot jack offered to carry the basket the rest of the way so white crested waves means the upward portion of the waves that looked white due to foam and the waves were rolling in over the blue bay as the trehenes and the walter he got out so students you can imagine that the white waves rolling over the blue bay it must be looking very beautiful it will be a absolute beauty okay so obviously they would enjoy over there halfway to the spot jack offered jack told his father that father i want to carry that basket lunch basket that you are carrying it's quite heavy jack filled as it is with goodies you boys will love are you sure you want to carry it his father asked so his father asked that are you sure that you want to carry that heavy basket because it is really quite heavy are you sure of that that you want to carry it so students from page number 15 we have also learned many new words what are these new words let's take a look at it delighted here means excited trick means strategy stuffy means crowded muttered means whispered or saying something in a very low voice white crested waves means waves that looked wide due to foam cliff here means steep rock at the edge of the sea and goodies means delicacies